Yo, what's up, guys? We are back today with a tutorial, and I'm gonna be. Oh, hi, Jinx. You, you're gonna wake up as I am gonna start the video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I need to start again. Now I need to start again. Yo, what's up, guys? We're back with another tutorial today. I'm gonna be bringing on to streamer bot as is the bot that I've been using on the channel for quite a while now. And I have basically uh, moved everything that I had from Touchport or another uh, bot onto this one, as I believe a streamer bot is actually the bot that can literally handle everything on your stream, uh, whether it's uh, sources. Uh, scenes, uh, alerts, channel points, absolutely everything. You can handle it with a streamer bot. And also it has a really nice feature, which is the voice control as well, which I will show in future um, in future tutorials. Today, I am just going to go with the basics. Uh, we're going to do like a small, like a, a bit of a series of how to use different aspects of uh, streamer bot. Today, we're taking on to how to log in onto your Twitch account and also how to connect your streamer bot to your OBS. So you're going to be presented on the streamer bot. This is the version 0.1.17, just for your information. If you have a, a previous version, most likely going to be the exact same thing. Or if you have a, a, few, a, a newer version, I don't know if it's going to change, but most likely it's going to stay as it is right now. So you're going to be presented with this with the viewers. There's going to be absolutely nothing here. So but the first thing you got to do, if you're going to connect this to your, uh, you can connect it to both your YouTube or your Twitch account. So what you have to do is come on to platforms onto that tab over here. So this is the fourth tab and then actually not the fifth tab. And then you go into accounts. When you go into accounts, uh, if you're on YouTube, as you can see on, on YouTube or Twitch, so YouTube is right here, Twitch is over here. So you go on to Twitch and it will uh, basically request uh, access to your Twitch account. So basically you have your Twitch account over here. So uh, once you connect your Twitch account, it will basically read your chat and, and your basically your events and everything else. So also you can connect your bot account. So if you actually have a bot account, you can uh, connect it as well here if you want to. And you can obviously, you know, click on forget if you want to, you know, log out from it. Uh, also to connect to your YouTube channel, you go into the YouTube tab, same thing, go into account and sign in with Google. That's it, simple as that. Once you connect your Google account or, or your YouTube account uh, that is connected to your Google, and that's it. Once it, it will actually appear over here, I have done mine already. So uh, automatically will go straight onto Val as it already recognizes that I have logged in once already. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys is how to connect this to your OBS because you're most likely going to be streaming from, from OBS. So if you're streaming from your OBS, actually on YouTube, you can auto-connect to your account on, on uh, YouTube uh, if you want to, to uh, straight up every single time you boot uh, streamer bot it will auto connect to your uh, youtube account which i didn't have it ticked for some reason but there you go now i have it no issues that, that that's not an actual option on twitch because it will always uh, connect to your twitch no matter what and then if you are actually going to go on to your um onto your obvious okay so you're gonna go on to the next tab which is the sixth tab and it's the stream apps once you go into stream apps, this is going to be completely blank for you as well as this one. So the only way to actually for you to connect to your OBS is right clicking here and you add a connection. Then what you're going to be doing, you can name it. You can name it however you want. And then you can go on to different versions. The version 4.9 is uh, basically OBS 27 or lower. Okay. And the version 5 is version uh, 28 of OBS or newer. So basically we are right now on version 29.0.2 of OBS. So if you have that version, you go for the version uh, five. So let's just say we have the version five of OBS. We're gonna call this test and go and find your host on your OBS. The port uh, is basically 4455, basically, and that's the same thing. Your password, auto-connect on the startup and reconnect on disconnect. I always have it active, obviously, because I want it to connect on startup always to my OBS. 
and reconnect in case it actually disconnects. So it's gonna be around 30 seconds. That's kind of like a you know like kind of like a, 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 a the standard uh, retry interval and the action. So basically, if it's connected or disconnected, you can actually link a sound. Uh, this is an action which we will go into it uh, in the next uh, tutorial so i will explain how to do actions and stuff so you can actually let's just say you can create an action with a sound to connect or disconnect your your basically your your streamer bot to your obs so if you know if it's connected it will play a sound and you know it's connected or if it disconnects it will play a sound and you know it's been disconnected so you can actually do that i will explain how the actions work on the future uh, uh on a future tutorial and with this you just click okay and that's it like once it's connected it will say connected status is gonna be saying connected obviously i have the version 27 of obs and i have the version point for version 4.9 of uh streamer bot so uh, as you can see it has the auto reconnect active reconnect active and the retry is 30 seconds and the status is actually saying connected because this is the one that is connected to my obs as of now so this one, if I had the version 29 of OBS, this one will be connected and that one will be disconnected, obviously. And that's about it. As you can see, once it's connected, if it says connected, you have to go to the right side and you can actually see on the right side everything you have, all your sources, all your scenes. It will actually read everything you have uh, on every single scene and every single uh source that you have on that scene that's basically as easy as it gets if you can't connect it with everything as you can explain i really don't know how to tell you but um yeah you've done something wrong in some place so just go and try to make sure that you have everything connected and everything is up and running if you have any issues also uh, a little bit of a quick tip just wrong a streamer bot and wrong obvious on admin mode and it will usually work either way so thank you very much all for watching and if you want to catch me live on twitch.tv slash val i stream from monday until friday every single day at the same time hope to see you guys there until next time bye bye